It feels like as movie fans, we are constantly living in a state of either asking A, who's the next Batman, or B, who's the next James Bond. It just so happens that we have both right now, as we anxiously await to find out who's going to be the Batman in the upcoming James Gunn DC universe. We've also, for a number of years, been waiting to find out who is going to be the next James Bond. Been a lot of names thrown around. Tom Hiddleston, Idris Elba. Um, Please not Tom Hiddleston. Henry, I would, Tom Hiddleston would be a good, good Bond. Oh, no, Tom Hiddleston, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You're thinking Tom Holland? Uh, Tom Holland. You're the, oh, yeah, no, no. I'm like, please. Well, that He's was wonderful, also but he looks so young. That was also a name that was thrown around. Um, uh, my personal fun. pick, my boy Henry Cavill, mm -hmm. Henry Golding. <laughs> Henry Golding is one that I would, thought would be Would so be a great good. one, too. A lot of names thrown around. Yeah. Well, the report in the British outlet, The Sun, is claiming that the role has officially been offered to Quicksilver, Kick-Ass himself, Aaron Taylor Johnson. And now you guys might have seen headlines flying around this morning that Aaron Taylor Johnson offered the role of Bond. Aaron Taylor Johnson offered the role of Bond. Now that's all coming from all these outlets that are reporting that now are getting their source from The Sun. The Sun is saying this. Now, just to pump the brakes on it a little bit, the BBC looked into it a bit, and they wrote the following. This came out in the BBC this morning that said this. The Sun has reported the kick-ass and Marvel Films actor has been formally offered the job as the 007 spy, formerly played by Daniel Craig. Craig left the role in 2001 after starring in five films over 16 years. My favorite Bond to date, as a matter of fact. The next Bond film will be the 26th after No Time to Die. The BBC has approached Aaron Taylor Johnson... Eon Productions, who is in charge of the Bond character, which makes the Bond films, has said that they don't comment on speculation. However, a production insider has told BBC News that there is, quote, no truth to the rumors. Mm. Okay. So, The Sun is saying they've offered the role to him and he's, a, he's expected to sign the deal within the week. It is an interesting thing. Uh, on the one hand, Aaron Taylor Johnson would be a fabulous choice. We'll talk more about that in a second. But to cast him before there's a movie, <laughs> yeah. before there's a, an idea for a new movie, for before there's a script or a director attached or anything like that. Now, I can get past that one because they used to say that one of the advantages of writing for Bond movies is that you already know who your Bond is, so you can write your script around that actor, right? Because you know you've got your Bond. And maybe they want to have their Bond in place before they write the scripts for the new films. Okay, I can go. I can get on board with that. Aaron Taylor Johnson, while not my top pick, probably not my top three, four, or five, would be a great Bond. I, I think he would be a wonderful Bond. He's got the, you know, the rugged good looks. He's got all the physicality. In the, he would be the most buff Bond we've probably ever had. Buff Bond. Buff Bond. <laughs> Now, Daniel Craig is it was in remarkable condition, too, but Aaron Taylor Johnson's even bigger. He's a fabulous actor, absolutely incredible actor, and he's at that right age. I could buy him as a Bond right now, and he could be Bond like Daniel Craig for the next 15 years. I would love the choice. I think it's great if it ends up being him. BBC's got some pretty good credibility. And if they're saying they're talking to sources that are telling them there's no truth to this and nobody outside of the sun is confirming it, I'm going to go with this. If it's Aaron Taylor Johnson, I'll be quite happy as a fan. I'll be looking forward to seeing him as our new James Bond. And it definitely is possible that this could be true because, you know, maybe the, the BBC is being misled. I'm going to tend to believe that this is not true. I'm going to I'm going to lean towards this is not true. I'm not saying it's impossible that it could be true, and I'll be very happy if it is true. But right now I'm going to lean towards that this is probably not true. If the BBC is saying, "Listen, they've done some digging and they're hearing nope, no truth to this." I tend to buy that. Or maybe they're just not getting the whole truth right now. But if it is Aaron Taylor Johnson, sign me up. Chris, we've talked a lot of names over the last number of years about who could be the next bond. Even before Daniel Craig wrapped up, we were all talking about who could be the next bond. What would you think about an Aaron, Aaron Taylor Johnson playing it? Could you see this working out? Do you think the reports are true? Do you think they're not true like the BBC is saying? 
If not him, who else? What do you think? Oh, I could absolutely see him in this role. It makes sense. You know, he's he's a young, good looking guy. He's suave. He's an action star already in his own right. I am interested to see if craven success would play into this decision at all mm-hmm. if that movie bombs if it's then but they would have to be smart enough to know that that would have nothing to do with him for sure right for sure but with the public is more of my interest here because so many times people blame the actor on the movie sucking like, craven right? boy that craven boy. craven boy exactly um but i think he'd do really well in the job i love him i particularly love him in bullet train oh I he was so good was in bullet so train great. i want just a lemon and tangerine movie that's all i want i <laughs> yep. want to know all about them give me a tv show give me five seasons in a movie that's all i want um when somebody in the chat says success what do i mean by a success with craven or, the, or those other things if the movie is good and makes money or just does that's it, what i mean it's not razzy it, worthy yeah isn't isn't madam, isn't Webb, madam Webb? isn't morbius yeah. isn't drive away dolls like those are the kind of things for me yeah it's drive away dolls that i don't want i heard that that on the show you guys were saying i wasn't into love lies dying oh i thought that was a strange no, yeah, no. yeah it was, i haven't oh, seen that that's one. right it, it was drive away dying yeah drive away dolls where i was like oh this is the dolls. first draft that of was movie. it yes um, yes yes no. okay thank you so you so you wanted to make sure this movie you know is Marketable makes money. He's a very marketable actor. He's a very successful actor. I think he is a great addition to anything. Anyone in this slide, though? Oh, I don't know about Killian Murphy. Is he seems? A, I would rather that him be a villain. Odd choice. Yeah, he that's needs to be a villain. a villain. I would like him as a villain. But everyone else up here, heck yeah, let's go. That's. I still think Henry Golding needs to be in that lineup, though. I really do. Mm-hmm. I think he's a tremendous actor, and I I want him to do more projects that are worthy of him. Again, that's another actor who has done so many movies, like Last Christmas or the um, the oh GI gosh, Joe one, the Snake Eyes. One, yeah. Oh, that was so Where bad. He, he tried. He his tried best. his best. He did what he could with that material, and I want him to have something worthy you know, of his talent. I I know it's a bit played out now, saying mm-hmm. like Henry Cavill, but I noticed today he almost has a very similar eye line and kind of brow structure as. Uh, not that this would make a di- make mm-hmm. m- a much of a difference, but as uh, Sean Connery, I c- um, and and obviously he's you know. Oh. I could see him playing a Scotsman and, and having a Sean Connery look. I'm really but excited to see how this I'm dude just looks saying. in 30 years. I, still my number one choice is Henry. As, especially, well, some people might forget that Henry Cavill was actually the runner-up to play James Bond mm-hmm. and lost out the role to Daniel Craig. So I think there's a, a poetic justice to that. Mm. And listen, after watching him in um, Man From U.N.C.L.E., I was like, yes, this guy should be Bond. This guy should totally be Bond. But again, it, there's no such thing as only one person can play a role. And there's a lot of other guys. And if Aaron Taylor Johnson's it, I'm all for it. Guys, we want to thank a sponsor of today's video, BetterHelp. Guys, it's a brand new year and a lot of people are making New Year's resolutions. You know, things they want to change about themselves. But I've always believed that it's also equally as important to identify the things we're doing well and building on those. And therapy helps you find your strengths so you can ditch the extreme resolutions and make changes that really stick. I've always believed that nothing impacts our daily performance in our jobs, our hobbies, our relationships, like our mental health. And I've also said for a long time that it's about time that we stop just putting emphasis on improving our physical health by getting out to the gym, but also by putting emphasis on improving our mental health as well. So if you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. All you got to do is fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. So guys, celebrate the progress you've already made. Visit betterhelp.com slash campia today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P, dot com slash Campia. Guys, question is for you. How would you feel about an Aaron Taylor Johnson as Bond? I personally think he would be a great pick. But are you like me that you doubt the validity of the reports right now? Maybe you completely buy into it. Whatever you guys think, jump down into the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campy Show podcast available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.